Oh, hey guys. Don't mind me. I'm just out here tending my sheep over here. Can you see them behind me? Yeah. Those sheep, whoo, they're lots of work. Sometimes they go in different directions and I've got to herd them back and, and guide them and lead them. It is hard work out here being the shepherd with my sheep. Well, it reminds me of a Bible verse. Um, it's called a, a psalm, which was songs that people would sing about God. So I have one for you. If you want to pause me, I can stay here just watching sheep. Um, you can pause me and you can go and find a Bible. If you don't have one in your house, maybe you can ask mom or dad to borrow their phone. We're going to look up Psalm 23. It is actually the most popular verse in the entire Bible. Lots of people know it. So we're gonna read over the whole thing and then talk a little bit more about it before I have to get back to tending those sheep. Here we go. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley, the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and your love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now that was a lot of talking and a lot of stuff in there. So for the next few weeks, we're going to break this down. What does it mean for God to be a shepherd? Well, it means that God guides us and directs us and that God is active in our lives. We're going to watch a short clip of a video of a dog named Chex. And he is kind of like God in the way that he is very active in some sheep life. He helps guide them and direct them and leads them where to go. So take a watch and I'll be right back. Gotta go water my sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. Oh man, look at these sheep. They are so fluffy. Walk up. Woohoo! Hi, I'm Chex the Herdy Dog. Welcome to my sheep farm. Good boy. Well, maybe it's not my sheep farm. I live with a couple of really nice humans. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Teresa. And we're Chex's people. We get to work with Chex all day long here at the Ubet Ranch. That's a boy. Walk up. Sit. Good boy. One thing about Chex you gotta know is he thinks about sheep all day long. Sheep, 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 sheep. Uh, yeah, I really, 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 really love sheep. Life here on the ranch is pretty awesome. I've lived here since I was a puppy. Oh, wasn't I cute? Here on the ranch, we have chickens, bees, cats, another dog, lots of dirt to roll around in, and of course, lots of sheep. The ones behind us right here weigh approximately 300 pounds. These sheep are way bigger than me, but God gave me a way to let them know I'm in charge. Border Collies have something called an eye, and that's the way they look and they stare and they'll look right at the sheep and then they communicate through that eye with the sheep. When us Border Collies get low and stare at the sheep, they know we mean business. Border Collies all over the world do this, like my cousin Oreo over there in England. Here on the farm, there's another kind of animal that works with the sheep too. Our alpaca's name is Connor, and Connor's a, a protector animal. Uh, we've actually had him scare off fox, and we also have coyote out here. So we think that uh, we're very fortunate, and our sheep are very fortunate, because with the predators that do exist around here, the alpaca will take care and watch them and make sure they are protected. And Chex does the same thing. Walk up. 
We communicate with Chex through voice commands, through hand commands, and then Jeff has taught him to work through the whistle. Good boy. Walk up, walk up. Up easy, easy. <laughs> the only time I slow down during the day is when I need a drink of water. Sheep, 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 sheep. I don't mean to brag, but I have lots of important jobs here. If I open any gates, he will stand guard at the gate to make sure no sheep get out. We also rotate sheep between fields, so his job is to push the sheep out of the pen into the field. And I really like it because he'll go way out in the far pastures to bring him back in and I don't have to go, so that's good. It's pretty cool that Jesus was known for rescuing sheep too. <laughs> the way that Chex guides the sheep does remind me of how God guides us. And God's watching over us with his eye upon us. But if we get a little bit astray, He'll gently come over and nudge us and get us back in line and pull us back into the flock. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, I need to go check on the sheep. <laughs> sheep, 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 sheep. Whew, those sheep were thirsty. I hope you liked watching Chex and his sheep. Did you see how hard he worked to keep his sheep all together? God does the same thing for us. He tries to keep us together. He tries to lead us to the right places. He is always active and present in our lives. And so today I want you to think about ways that maybe God has been active in your life. Or maybe there's something that's bothering you and you don't know what the right decision is that you should make. There are things that you can do to help call upon God. Even though he's always there, you can call out his name. I like to use prayer a lot. And that's one way that I ask for God for more direction and guidance, guidance into my life. You can try the same thing. Whether it's a problem with friends or family or anything at school or at home that might be happening. You can ask God. And... Like I said, I want you to think about times where God has been helping you in the past. Let's think about times where God has been working in our lives. I know that God's been working in my life a lot. He's helped me um, make decisions in my life that have led me to where I am right now today. So I know that God is a hard worker just like checks. He doesn't sit and just watch over us, but he works actively in our lives. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for guiding us, giving us direction, and just looking over us. God, we thank you for your example of Jesus, how he led his disciples out into the world to create what we are today, the church. Let us depend on you and be open to your guidance in our lives. Amen. All right, guys, I hope to see you next week. And hopefully you will be at Stronger next week, September 13th, which will be at 530. See you soon. Bye, guys.